Okay. <laughs> that was a rough one. Namaste. <laughs> How's everyone doing? <clears throat> I woke up late. Well, I think uh, what's happening is I get up uh, a little later every day. <laughs> it's not a good thing. We're doing a um, booty class. We're gonna do uh, five pound weights, or two pound weights, or 10 pound weights. I know we kind of started amping it up um, last week. Um, I feel like I'm getting smaller, but I have been, um, you know, obviously my food's been not right. Not lifting enough, not eating enough protein. I'm definitely eating enough, <laughs> just not enough of the right things. Um, okay, before you go though, say hi to Sunny. Hey. <laughs> and I am turning into the crazy cat lady, but look at how cute he is. <laughs> okay. Um, how's everyone doing? My hair is a big puffball today because of the, uh, the French braid, but I like that. Okay. I like that we've got some people on. We're going to do a booty class and, uh, with this class, I call it a booty fit fusion because we do a fusion of some yoga moves and some uh, Pilates moves, some traditional fitness moves. Um, the goal for this type of practice is to get um, shape. Uh, we don't do a lot of cardio, so if you are trying to lose weight, um, this could help, but again, it's really all about food. Someone had um, suggested I talk about um, food prep I guess because there are still people who are working. Um, so my easy, or my, my best trick or tip that I could give when I'm dieting and I'm trying to stay on my diet when I'm in competition prep is I always make my food in the morning. That is gonna be my food for the day. And I keep it in, um, so this is my trick. I, I use a thermos. Um, because I hate microwaves, microwaves are terrible, terrible, terrible things for you. It kills your food. And um, especially when you're trying to be healthy and then you start zapping your food with a whole bunch of shit um, in a microwave, why bother? Um, so I, and then I've, 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 and I've said this to my clients, like just don't use the microwave. And well, I don't like to eat cold food. Then there you go. Buy a $30 thermos and your food is so fresh when you eat it throughout the day. I am a big um, believer, I shouldn't say believer, I'm a big fan of uh, protein shakes. I only use the best quality, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial colors. Um, they, you may feel fine now when you're using that stuff, but eventually down the road, the more chemicals you put in your body, it, they accumulate. Your, your body doesn't know what to do with it. It's holding onto this garbage. And so people, out, where does cellulite come from? Cellulite, a big, it's a huge, it's a great um, idea, the thermos thing. But the cellulite is um, a, a mixture of problems, and a lot of people don't know exactly what it is. Everyone, no one knows exactly what it is. But chemicals in your skin are being trapped, and it's causing this cellulite. Another thing is um, vitamin C is a big uh, component of collagen. And the collagen is what's going to keep your skin tight. A uh, big thing right now is collagen powders, collagen tablets. Um, I've been doing those for years. You know I work at Pure Nature. Well, some of you know I work at Pure Nature. So I love supplements and vitamins and all that stuff. So collagen powder would be helpful for that cellulite type of idea. Um, another big thing, I don't know how I got on cellulite, but since I'm there, grapefruit seed oil is a skin detoxer. So I don't put any chemicals on my skin. I use uh, just a straight oil, uh, avocado oil, almond seed oil, make sure it's organic. And then um, grapefruit seed oil in there and then rub it on your skin after a shower. I mean, I don't know, all those little things. I mean, and then these booty classes are gonna help. <laughs> so it's a combination of everything. It's your food, it's your, it's your supplements, it's your exercise, all that stuff makes a difference. Um, that's my uh, <laughs> two cents for today. If you have any questions about any of the stuff, like any of the working out or any of the diet tips or whatever, I'm here for you. Um, and the stuff that I can help with 
I want to be able to help. So if there's something that you think that I could offer you, I, uh, I, wanna, I wanna help. Okay, so we're gonna do um, our class. I want you to have a mini band and some weights. The mini band, a lot of people have been asking me what kind. I just got mine off of Amazon or eBay. Um, it's called Red Core, but after I've uh, talked to a few people, and then I, I looked it up, I don't even find them online anymore. But it's a pretty tight one, they go by color. So the black, I think is the, the second strongest, I think there's a silver after this one, I, I guess the different companies um, can change their color. But um, then there's this red one that I have, which is, you can see it's wider. So it's not gonna be as tight, and then it's thinner, so it's not gonna be as tense when you're moving it. So you can choose which one uh, you decide to get. I always say go with the heavier one because they will start to loosen up. If you can get a set, they have uh, sets of five you can buy for usually like 20 bucks from uh, um, Canadian Tire or something like that, uh, even on Amazon, I'm sure. Um, that way it gives you the option of trying different strengths out. So, when you guys are ready, we're gonna get started. Hands to the hips, toe taps in and out. Start to get low, lift the knee and drop it. So when you're doing your toe tap, pick up the knee. Get a little lower with your hips. Remind yourself what you want to get out of this time. Smile, thank your body for being able to do this for you. Keep moving, get lower. When your body starts to get tired, that is just a sign that you're getting to where you want to go. The tired has to happen. The fatigue has to happen. Get a little lower. Now we're going to hold this low squat and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Stay low with this one. Right foot goes back. Kick off the foot and down. Kick off and down. So it's a very low lift. We're working that left glute. The right leg is just kind of lifting, but it's all in that left leg. Five, four, three, two. Step the right foot next to the left. Get low, 10 squats here. Now, as you're doing your squats, make sure your toes are pointing in the same direction that your knees and your hips are. Four, three, two, one, step your left foot back and just kick off and down. Kick off and down. I want you to feel that into that right hamstring, that right glute. Spread the toes of your right foot. Check and see, toes in line with knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay where you are, just turn so that now the toes are out, the knees are wide, and now we pulse low and straighten up. Bend and straighten, 10. Nine, eight. Now when you come up, push your hips forward. Let's add the arms. Straighten the arms as you straighten the legs. Five, four, three, two. Stay up, turn your toes forward. Right hand goes down the right thigh, left arm goes over and over to the other side. Keep moving. Go fast if you can, or faster. I want you to start lengthening down the sides of the body. The bicep stays by the ear when you reach. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Kick off and off. So we're going side to side, and you're lifting the leg with the strength of the outer glute. Toes stay pointing front of the room. Five, four, three, two, one. One, stay wide with the arms, wide with the toes, sit low into the feet, sorry, knees, and stay here and pulse. It's a low pulse. The thighs stay aligned with the floor. Get lower if you can, and get in that range. It doesn't matter where you are, just get a little deeper, and so you can feel it in your glutes a little more. Five, four, maybe in the thighs, two, one. Turn the toes with me. Now bend the left knee. 
Hands come down to the mat. Look at my right foot. The toes are lifted. Deep breath in. The right arm goes up to the ceiling. Use the outer left tricep to push to the inner left knee. Gaze to the right thumb. Inhale. Exhale the hand down and we crawl over to the right. Right knee bends. My left leg straightens. My left toes turn up. Right tricep presses to the inner right knee. Left arm goes up. Really trying to open up the chest. Gaze to the thumb. Deep breath in. Exhale, hand down. Walk the hands to the right foot. Move to plank. We're in our plank. Hands are under the shoulders. You can be on your knees. Ten push-ups. Ten. Nine. Don't even think about it. Just move. If you need to, knees are down. You're still getting a workout. It's still getting your abdominal wall. Don't let your hips sink up. Four, three, two, one. Downward dog. When you find your downward dog, use this to get movements to the bottoms of the feet. Lift your toe, heels and drop the heels one at a time. Five, four, three, two, one. Left heel stays down, right leg goes up. We're in a one leg dog, we pulse it at the top. So be aware here, your shoulders are still strong. Don't let your chest dip too much towards the floor. For three, two, one. Move to a plank, right knee, right elbow, right knee, left elbow, right, left, right, left. Five, four, three, two, one. Kick it out to the left. Left hand goes up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Exhale, hips down. Inhale up for 10, down. Nine. If this is too much for your shoulder, bend your knees. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit on the hips. Take your hand to the front of your mat once again. I'm tucking my left toes under. I'm going to adjust this so you can see. So your legs are wide. Your left toes tuck under. Ground into your hands. Just lift your hips. Five push-ups. Five. Four. Yes, that left, right leg is still out to the left. Two. One. Down dog. Deep breath in. Lower down to your knees as we exhale. Keep the toes tucked under. Walk your hands back. Sitting on the heels, arms up, inhale. Interlace the fingers and exhale, round your back. Point your tailbone and your palms to the front wall. Inhale to lift it up. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift, really arch the back. Exhale, round, get small to the front. Inhale, open. Exhale, release the hands. We move back into our downward dog. Ground through your right foot. Left leg up. Now moving with full range. Squeeze through that left glute. Don't let your chest dip too far. We want the chest still engaged. Four, three, spread your fingers. Two, one, move to plank. Left knee, left elbow, right elbow. Left, right, left, right. Stay strong in your right thigh. Three, two, one. Now we kick the leg out to the right. Right arm goes up. Inhale. Hips down as we exhale. Now you choose. Your feet can be bent or knees can be bent or feet can be planted. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You choose. Six. The hips can be up, no matter if the feet are down or straight or, oh my gosh, keep moving the hips. <laughs> now, straighten the legs if you bend them. Lift and tuck your right toes. The hands are now under the shoulders. Left leg is out to the right. Five push-ups, even if they're just little mini bends of the elbows. Three, two, one. Down dog, inhale. Exhale, come down to the knees once again. Tuck your toes. Inhale, reaching the arms up. This time we're taking the hands to interlace behind the back. 
So lift your chest. Inhale. Stay here. Exhale. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. One more breath in. Squeeze your glutes. Release your hands. Exhale, table. When you get to your table, find that your knees are directly underneath your hips. Take your left arm out and up. As we exhale, the left hand goes under the right. Reach for the right wall. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, we twist. Inhale it up. Exhale, we twist. Inhale up. Right leg up. Left hand, right foot, and lift. So as we're here, the gaze is forward, right glute is really engaged, and kick the toes upward, resist it with the left hand. Next inhale, straighten it out, so right leg, left arm, and the spine are all parallel with the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, hand down, toes down, bring them back up for 10, down, 9, 8, Seven, don't let your belly dip. Five, squeeze right from the glute. Three, two, one. The hand is gonna stay down. We're in that one-legged table, right leg right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to table pose. Right arm out and up, inhale. Bring it under, exhale. As you do this, you're squeezing. Inhale, up, reach. Exhale, twist, squeeze. Inhale, up, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up, ground your hand, left hand down. Bring your left leg up, right hand reaches for left foot and lift. You're using the strength of your right thigh, uh, right arm to help resist the left leg. Now squeeze your left glute more. Inhale, straighten it all out, parallel with the floor, even your spine. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale it up for 10, nine. Don't move from the pelvis, just move from the glute. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The hand goes down, the leg stays up to the left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We're coming to the chair. Take your time as you move. I know I just got up real quick, but you don't have to. Take your time. Be aware as, as you're uh, moving how your body feels. Grabbing your mini band and make sure you have your five pound weights ready for you. Or two. Okay, grab your mini band. It's gonna be placed around your knees, just above the knees. Come to your chair so that you're on the, right hand is on your chair. Bring your feet squeezing together. Push your heels together as your toes turn out. Now we bend the knees wide and straighten up for 10. Nine. So when you're here, by actively pushing your heels together is going to help to incorporate the hamstrings. So be aware of what you're using. Now let's look down and look at your toes and look where your knees are going and make sure that they're going the same direction. You don't want your knee going a different way that your toes are going. The body can do that. It's not a good thing. But if you keep doing it, the body will just say, okay, this is what she wants me to do. So be aware of your alignment and choose it. Be intentional with every movement and every direction. I'm starting to feel this. That's the point. Let's keep moving. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. We have to pulse it. So just really slowly... Move a small, small range. Squeeze your glutes and push your heels together. I know it's burning. Let's go for five more. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Now take the band around the ankles. 
face your bar, taking the left foot on the band. So you notice my foot is stepping on the band. My right foot still has the band on the arch of the foot. Bend the knee and straighten. Bend, straighten. Bend, straighten. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep that configuration with the band. Just step your feet back and bring your forearms on the band. Uh, sorry, on the bar. And then again, we bend. Ten, nine, eight. We're trying to keep the knees together. Bring a gentle bend in your left knee. Let's all spread the toes of the left foot. Four, three, two, one. Taking the band onto the knees. So just above where we were, or just where we were, above the knees. Push your heels together, lift your heels, and wide. 10 and up, nine, eight, seven. Don't let your chest fall forward. Abdominals are strong here. Think about pointing your tailbone and landing it right in between your heels. Two, one, and pulse. Smaller pulses. The glutes do not lose their engagement the whole time that you're moving here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hamstrings push heels together for three, two, one. Woo! Take the band to the feet. Right foot now has the band, stepping on the band. Your hands are on your bar. Left foot has the band on the arch. Straighten and bend. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five. Abdominals stay really strong. Right knee is gently bent. Two, one. Keep the band as it is. Just step your right foot maybe six inches back. Forearms on your bar. Let's go. Left knee bends. Right knee is just gently bent for that support so that you can still engage the right thigh. We're not hanging on the right side. Lift out of your hip for three, two, one. One. Who knew that would be so intense? So now we're coming to the bar again. Left side is on your bar. Left foot's going to stay down. Right leg goes up. Your right toes point to me. Up, up, up. Now look at my left thigh. It's still gently bent and it's strong and engaged here. Four, three, two, three. One, hold it up, sink over so that you can get lower with that left forearm on the bar and keep going with that right leg. Left knee is gently bent, toes are pointing to me. Four, three, two, one. Keep the band as it is, we're coming onto the forearms facing the bar, left knee is under the hip, toes point to the floor of the right foot. Get a gentle bend in that right knee. We're moving from the straight leg, though. Up, up, up. Squeeze that right glute. Turn the right toes down. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg up. Come onto your palms. Left arm up. Left hand down. Right toes down. Up, up, up. Six, five, four. Oh, I feel that. Three. Two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're taking the right hand on your bar. Left toes lift. Toes point to me. Actually, let's give it a break. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that again on the other side. We can do it. Right hand is on the bar. Toes point to me. Let's go up with that left leg. Your foundation is just as strong as that left leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Lean on your right forearm. Step your right foot a little bit outward and keep moving that left leg up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Abdominals strong, two and one. Forearms on your bar, you're facing your bar. Left leg up, 10, nine, squeeze at the glute. 
Don't drop your belly. I know it's intense. Five, four, three, two, one. Toes will stay down. Take your left hand to the bar. Right arm goes up. Up, up. Left leg, right arm. Five, uh, five four, three, two, one. Ow! Oh, that one hurt in a good way. Take your band to your knees. Grab some water if you need. And uh, grab your five pound weight, or two pound weights. I'm gonna grab the five. The band is on the knees. Step your feet enough how you can feel the band is wide, uh, or tight, I should say. And bend your knees just enough that you can feel it. So the band is gonna wanna pull your knees inward. Engage wherever you need to engage to get the arms where they are, or sorry, the knees where they are. Now the hands are gonna be in front of you. Bring them out to a T for 10. So I'm just slightly leaning forward. Nine, eight, the abdominals are really strong. Seven, knees are wide. Six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna keep the arms up, pulse the knees, pulse, pulse, pulse. Now as the arms are up, the thumbs are slightly turned down. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees wide, arms down, and up for 10. The knees don't change here as we move the arms. Feel your foundation in your feet. Equalize it from heel to forefoot. Five, exhale on your way up. Three, Inhale down, exhale up. Last one, hold it, pulse the knees. 10, eight, six, four. Oh my gosh, and done. So now, stay where you are, the legs are gonna stay straight. Ground your left foot. Lean to the left, right arm and leg up. Lean to the right, left arm and leg up. So when you get the arm up, try not to just lean, but lift it as well. When you get the leg up, turn the toes in to me. Get the arm up high. Really feel the shoulder, feel the side, all the way through down to the heel. Last three, two, one. Now we're gonna stay Take the dumbbells down for a second. Take your band to your ankles. We're just using one dumbbell. Right hand is on your bar. Left hand has the dumbbell. Ground your right foot. The band is on your left ankle. As we inhale, the left arm and leg go up and exhale it down. Nine, eight, seven, Six, resist it with that right leg. Five, it's pretty intense. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, take your foot out of the band. Your right forearm on your bar. Left foot's gonna step behind you. Right arm's gonna go up. So now we're in a diagonal with that left side of the body. Left elbow and knee together and open. So when you open, I should show you this way, you get a little lunge, and when you exhale, you straighten up and the knee comes in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So it's like a shoulder press when you straighten the arm. Last two, last one. Taking the Band around the ankles once again. Switching sides. So the left hand is on your bar. The right hand has the dumbbell. Ground your left foot. And let's go up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. So now, left leg's gonna st 
step, uh, stay where it is. The right foot's gonna step back, take the band off of the foot, right arm up. Elbow and knee, so I've got my left forearm on the bar, so I can lean forward, right elbow and knee come in, then we shoulder press it over the head and you knee in. If it's too much for that five pounds, just take it um, to the floor. You don't need to use the weight. Four. Remember, we're getting that little lunge with that left leg when we step it back. Two, one. Woo! Take your band down, or sorry, your dumbbell down. Take your band. I'm gonna move this outside of the way. We've got our band on the wrist. Strong core, strong legs. So there's a position, even though you're just using your arms, the legs are strong, as if you were just about to, I was about to say pounds, this cat, as if you were just about to do, do something with a lot of energy. Prepare yourself, keep that engagement. You have the band around your wrists, up and down as fast as you can with the arms. Separate the hands as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down onto your knees, grab your dumbbells. I've got the fives, you can do the twos. I wouldn't go any higher than five. So now we've got the hands holding the dumbbells. The dumbbells are, so this is called a hammer grip when the dumbbell is up and down like that, like as if you're going to hit a hammer. So that's a hammer grip. So we're gonna take that onto the band, onto, so the band is still around the uh, wrist. You're like, what is she gonna do? And then we're holding the dumbbells in our hammer grip. Now, separate as much as you can using just your shoulder blades. So you're drawing out, in, out, in. You're rotating the shoulder blades back. I'll show you this way. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together with the resistance of the band and the dumbbells. Five, four, three, two, one. Dumbbells go down, arms up, palms face inward, up and down really fast with the arms. Ten. Nine, widen the hands as much as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Take your dumbbells, hammer grip, and we're just rolling back and forward. We're trying to get some movement in the shoulder blades. Retract your shoulder blades back. Four, three, two, one. Yes, we have to do one more set. Arms up, let's go. Widen your hands as much as you can. Straighten your arms and get this from your shoulders. Three, two, one. Woo, okay. Arms up, elbows bend wide. Try to get the band behind your head and come back up. You can use a different band, maybe a lighter one if you need, or do it without the band. Let's go for five more. Four, three, two, one. Take the band onto the knee. I was gonna say, throw it away. No, we're good, we're almost done. Take the band around your knees, just above the knees where we were below the thighs there. So now, come onto your left side my left hip is on the floor. My right hand has the dumbbell. The left forearm, actually, you know what? Let's do it without the dumbbell first. So the left forearm is on the, the mat. Start here, engage your left side. Okay. Now we lift the right knee, take the dumbbell with the right hand, lift the right knee and the dumbbell, bring it down. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. The arm is straight if you can. If it's too
too heavy, then you bend the elbow. Two and one. Come down to table, taking your right knee to the right and in. So the toes are still on the floor. You're just rotating the knee out and in, out and in. Six, five, four, I'll show you this way. Three, two, one. We're gonna stay here. Come down to your forearms. Straighten your right leg, lift the toes and drop. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down onto your right side, your right forearm. So remember, we're pushing out of the floor. Heels are gonna push together. Left hand has the dumbbell, left knee lifts. Let's lift the left arm and bring them both down for 10, nine. When this starts to get tough, notice what your reaction is. Keep your body strong, keep your mental focus strong. It's that point where you wanna quit, where you get the biggest benefit, not only physically, but also mentally. You can do it, it's just a little bit of discomfort, it's fine. Last three, two, one, it's a lot of discomfort, but it's okay. Hands down, left toes stay on, the, so we're in table, left toes stay on the mat. We're just lifting the left knee out and in, out and in. The left toes are staying where they are. We're just rotating through that left hip joint. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down to your forearms. Left leg straight and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down onto your left side again. Almost done. We're on our left hand. Take your dumbbells out of the way just for now. The ankles are squeezing together. Now we're on our left hand, not the forearm. I just want you to lift your hips, lift your hand, lift your knee. So there's a lot going on here. When we come down, everything comes down. When we go up, everything goes up. Down, when you lift, the hip lifts, the knees separate, the right arm goes up. If you want, take your dumbbell with you and down. So that left arm is really needing a lot of support. So use the shoulder blades. Remember we activated that back muscle? Use that and push from that area. We've got three more. Inhale down, exhale up, that's two. Inhale down, exhale up, that's one. Good, come to your right side. Right hand under the shoulder, right hip underneath the left, angles are stacked. Use the dumbbell or not. Lift the hips, lift the knee, lift the arm, and down. Choose what you want. You can drop something. You don't have to lift the hips. You don't have to lift the knee. You don't have to lift the arm. Do something where you're challenged and you feel great about the challenge. Don't hate it. Be grateful for it. It's not happening to you, it's happening for you. <laughs> Two and one. Let's come down onto the back. <clears throat> so, take your dumbbell overhead, all the way to the back of the room. The knees are bent. Exhale up and try to get the dumbbell to the knees. Inhale back. Exhale up. Inhale back. Push the feet to the floor and separate the knees enough that you can feel the band is tight. If it's too much to bring the elbow or the arms overhead, just keep it towards the ceiling rather than to the wall behind you. Make sure that your low back is pushing down the whole time. That's why we're using the bent knee.
knees. Take advantage of that positioning to push your low back down. Think about rolling your tailbone up, activating the glutes slightly. We've got three more. Squeeze your exhale out. Last two. Last one. Hold. Knees up. Push your feet together. Widen your knees. In and out. In and out. In and out. <laughs> Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold the knees out. Take the dumbbell outside of your right thigh. And up. Diagonal. And to the side. And diagonal. If you want, your feet can go down. Make sure that your low back stays on the mat. If it's up, with your feet up, then just bring your feet back down. Last two, last one. Come back to center, arms overhead. Reestablish the knees wide, and then curl it up. Shoulders uh, off the mat, and then we go back in the diagonal, and back up. You don't have to bring the arms all the way back. Squeeze the left abdominal wall. Wide knees, just enough that you can feel the band. Three more. Two. And one. Woo, release that. Take the band off. Bring your knees to the, or feet to the mat. And rock the knees side to side. Try to get your feet as wide as your mat so that you can really get lots of movement and internal rotation of the hips. And as you're here, slow your breath down. Coming back to neutral, bring your knees into your chest, hands behind your knees, roll forward. Taking your right foot, sorry, your right, just crossing out the ankles. So left foot over right. Cat's throwing me off. Okay, arms up, inhale. Exhaling your left hand to the outside of your right knee, and we twist, turn the gaze over the right shoulder. Actively pull your right hip forward. Deep breath in. Long exhale, squeezing the abdominal wall. As we inhale, come back through center. And exhale, twist to the left. Notice if your tendency is to roll your shoulders, pull your shoulder blades back, and continue taking the chin towards the left shoulder. Coming back through center, straighten the legs in front. Start inching your chest forward. As you're doing that, you can rock the hips kind of side to side, and this is going to help to elongate the low back and the hamstrings a little bit. And then once you've found your fold, get some movement in your toes. Move your toes. That'll get more elongation into the calf muscles and into the ankle joint and the toes. If you do want to reach for your feet, go ahead. You can also hold your knees. What we're trying to do is get the forehead to the ankles. Not necessarily, sorry. We're trying to get the belly button to the knees, not, to, not necessarily the forehead to the toes. So you're elongating through your low back and then folding. Two more breaths here. Inhale to come up. Lean to your left, take the right foot beside your right hip. We're trying to get a, a lengthening into the shin muscle. If it's too much to sit this way, I, I will see a lot of people turn the toe out, but that's defeating the purpose of this position. So I want you to keep the toes turned directly back. If that means that you need to lean to the left and hold the foot, that's fine. You're still keeping that shape and you're still elongating the shin and ankle. Take one more breath in. And with the exhale, come up. Right foot outside, left thigh. Chest is tall, left toes point to the ceiling. And as we inhale, right hand behind, left arm up. And exhale.
exhale, we twist. As you're twisting, right hip goes forward. Take a deep breath in, gaze over the right shoulder, and exhale to neutral. Right leg forward, left foot outside, right thigh. Lengthen through the chest, and twist. Left hip pulls forward, right hip pulls back, chin goes over the left shoulder. Inhale to come to center. We're moving to pigeon for our uh, hip stretch. So whatever feels good to you, if it doesn't feel good to do it on your belly, we, you can fold here or you can go on your back and do that figure four. Either way, you're still getting that movement that we're looking for in the pigeon stretch. So find something that works good for you. And now use your breath as a tool to bring more ease into your body. Make your exhales a little bit longer. Maybe closing the eyes and direct your breath right into your right hip. We'll move from here, mindfully, if you're on your back, just come back up to table, and we'll all meet in downward dog. Slow breath in, and then when you're ready, you're down, or your um, pigeon on the left. So you choose if you want to stay on your back for this one, or if you want to fold forward. Close your eyes wherever you are. Let your exhale fall out of that left hip. Notice if you're resisting or holding in any areas of the body. Take this time to let that go. We'll come up from here. If you were on your back, just roll forward. Come to seated. Bring the right leg forward. Lean to the right, take the top of your left foot. And again, we're stretching out the shin and the calf, or the shin and the ankle. You can stay there, or you can lean to one side, or you can even lean back if you want more intensity. It's really important though, <clears throat> it's really important though, that if you're limited range on one side, try not to overstretch on your flexible side, because what that's gonna do is just cause even more imbalance. So if one side of your body is really tight and the other side is really open, work on opening the tight part and strengthening the open part. But if you're gonna keep on trying to expand the, stretch, the stretchy part, you're just throwing yourself more out of balance. So be aware of your intentions. And release that. Take the right foot to the outside of, or right, left foot to the outside of the right thigh, and we twist. Last twist of our practice today. Deeper breath. And come back to center. Crossing at the ankles comfortably. Allow your hands to just rest on your knees. Allow the eyes to close. Remember at the beginning of the practice, you set the intention of what you wanted to get of your time. You have reached your goal. Big smile. Thank your body for being able to do that for you. Thank your body for the discomfort because you know that that is your body's signals talking to you. Thank you for the ability to be able to hear your body talking. Take your hands to your heart center. Big smile. Deep breath in. Out of the mouth. The light in me honors and adores and appreciates and respects the light 
within you because we are all from that same source. I appreciate you. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thanks, guys. So let me know what you think. I was sweating for a bit there. It was a good workout. If I, uh, if you have any questions or anything, I'm here for you. I know we went through uh, a little bit of a longer practice today, but we um, we did some yoga and some Pilates and some some bodybuilding stuff. So it was a good mix. And I thank you guys. Honestly, I wouldn't do it if you guys weren't doing it with me. So I really appreciate your time, your energy, and I am eternally grateful. So we're in this together. Let me know if I can help you in any way. If any of those tips that we uh, t talked about earlier, um, if you want to learn any more of that, I've got lots of, um, you know, things that I think uh, work. Sometimes it's all placebo, but you know what? Whatever works. Okay, have a great day, guys.